The input object has some pretty unique actions. Let's take a look at those now. I'm going to double click on my page and in the actions area click on the add action button and choose input from the category pull down. As you can see right off there's a bunch of actions that are similar to the ones we've looked at so far. Set position, get position, get size, set size. For example, these are the same as for the other objects that we've looked at. But we've got some unique stuff here too that we haven't seen with any of the other text-based objects, such as the clipboard actions here like copy, cut, delete, and paste, as well as these get selection and set selection actions. Okay, let's look at those two first. Get selection and set selection allow you to manipulate the selection area within the input object. So you can have an active selection area within the content that's in an input object. Okay, input set, set selection is going to allow you to set that value at runtime and input get selection is going to allow you to retrieve that information at runtime. Okay, when you're setting a selection for example, I'm going to double click on that, we'll just take a quick look, you'll see it chooses the object name and then you've got an index number for start and end. Now if you choose number one for your start and minus one for your end such as we have here, that's going to start at the uh, first character of the string and it's going to go right through to the end. Minus one in the end uh, field here means to go all the way to the end. If you use minus one as a starting index, that's actually going to deselect all the text in the input. But let's go ahead and go back here and we won't get bogged down in that right now. We'll go ahead and just look at how that relates to these other actions. Okay, when we have a selection set within that input object, we can use these uh, clipboard actions to go ahead and manipulate that selection. So the input copy action is going to uh, copy any of the text that you have selected actively um, into the clipboard. Okay. The input cut action is going to do the same thing except it's going to cut that text. Input delete is going to delete any selected text in the input object. And input paste is going to paste whatever's in the clipboard into the input object at the current insertion point. So wherever that active selection is right there in that input object. Okay, so we've got our get selection and set selection actions and then they relate to these copy, cut, delete and paste actions. Okay, in addition you'll see we've got some other normal stuff we didn't mention here such as the get text, set text, set enabled, is enabled, is visible, set visible because those are things that we've reviewed with other objects. Now let's go ahead to the next tutorial where we'll take a look at some action examples.